What's up, my family? It's Crabfire, and welcome back to Canon Exiles. Today, we are looking again at Endgame Extended Weapon Arsenal, aka Iwa. We're going to be doing another guide on that one because the other day, a very special new thing came out, aka Necromancer. You might be wondering how to get that, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get that and all the things that you need to be able to obtain it and be able to obtain special creatures and whatever with it. So, it's a very, very cool new thing which allows you to summon things from all sorts of categories. So, you have undead hyenas, warriors, cappers, serpentmen, uh, whites, and even some very special ones that will require a certain cost to be able to get them or a certain feat. But we're going to start off needing a witch bowl cauldron and you're going to need yourself a witch doctor in there as well. If you don't already have these, you need to go to the ancient cave and kill the boss at the end and then harvest him for the demonic horn of secrets. And that's how you'll be able to obtain the magic of Iwa. But once you have these built, you want to make the necromatic summoning. You can make this for 14 corrupted spellbooks, 8 mystical mixtures and 40 corrupted bone meal. Now you can make the mystical mixture in here for these ingredients and then for the books you need all of these ingredients to make the books. Now you might be wondering about corrupted bone meal, you might not see the recipe in there. Well, what you need to do for that is actually just grind down corrupted bones as so and then you'll be able to get your corrupted bone meal which is also going to be needed to summon things in necromancy so you're going to need these corrupted bones that they're going to be very important once you got all these things you should be able to summon some basic things to start with so i can summon myself a nice little undead guy here you see he's my little follower now if i wanted to summon another one i can't at the moment for this category but i can on these other categories so i can have quite a few of them following me at a time three of each but you might be wondering, well, what about these blacked out ones? We obviously have the bone mill for them, but we can't get them yet. Well, you actually need to go and find some of these feats around the world to be able to obtain these. Well, we got our first thing. It's a Lufk. You can actually get a recipe out of this guy and many other things. But we'll start off with him and I'll show you what you can get out of this one. If we're to go ahead and actually kill this guy and get rid of him... He may give the chance to drop a recipe, so I'm going to farm him. So I've killed some more of them, let's see if we can get it out of them. And here we go, here is one. The formed monstrosity, you want to go and chew that up, eat it, so you can now spawn it. So let's get our monstrosity out. Where did he spawn? Ah, here it is. Let's spawn him in. There we go, we got a monstrosity out of that guy, and that's what you'll get out of him. Very creepy looking zombie guy. If you want more chances of recipes as well, you can always do the bounty bosses. So that's only from from Lurker to Hellcat, Mummy Boss, Crystal Rock Nose, Luff. Um, any of these you can drop these special things as well to be able to learn. Another easy one you can get is actually through doing the King Scourge dungeons. So killing King Scourge, although you can avoid Mr. King Scourge and just go straight to this tablet. You want the pride of the silent legion and that will give you another one so you'll be able to spawn another dude out another thing you can kill for necromancy recipes is afflicted beings so this guy here there's a couple of them on the map one of them is above the abino bat tower and there's one in this little location on my mini map so quite a popular spot you want to kill him see if you get the recipe i believe we got it first try very nice so afflicted being you want to eat that and they'll give you another recipe and we got one of these now so this dude very cool we have our very own version that we can bring around with us another recipe you can get is off the decade in the perilous valley so there's loads of these little bony guys you can find around the place they're also going to provide a recipe for their own version that you can get too so i'm going to spawn in a bunch of these so we can get them in and then i'm going to kill them all there we go, and we should end up with a recipe. I believe I've just seen one. Let me see if I can get them in the bag. There we go. And, yeah, decayed recipe. You want to eat that, and then you can go and spawn yourself a decayed. So, here we have a decayed archer that we can now summon. Have a look at this guy. They're pretty cool. Yeah, and see if we can attack his own kind. <laughs> That would be quite handy if you paired that up with some other of the spawns. You have a little archer in there that will just stay back and uh, well do some cripple I imagine. That's pretty nice. 
Another one you can get out of the Stygian fighter boss in the ancient ruins. So over here in the corner of the map. So over here you can get a, another one. So you will kill this dude off. And sometimes he'll drop you a recipe. The usual recipe he will drop you is the Stygian fighter. Which you can go ahead and consume. And then you can make your very own. So there you go. Pop him in and you'll get your very own one. Turn him against the other ones. But yeah, he's just like those ones. Another way to get some more is the ghoul one can be found through the new ghoul boss in the new dungeon coming out very soon. Of course, there is also the tentacle that you can get for the daughter of the devourer. If you harvest her and then consume that tentacle, then you can also get some more necromancer feats. So now you can spawn all the things in and get what you like. So you have the queen, let's spawn her in as well, have a look. You've got a little uh, moth following you now, well, ugly moth fart creature thing. You, you can recognise them if you've played Sipta, but... But tons of these to obtain, and it's up to you to collect them all. It's kind of like Pokemon, but in the Conan version. So there is plenty out there to get, and hopefully this guide has helped you a little bit. Also, you might be wondering about the corruption. Well, you're going to get that every time you summon, so you really want to be careful with that, and perhaps some, have something there to, uh, well, uncorrupt yourself, such as perhaps cleansing brew, or if you want to heal your allies as such, you could always use a cleansing aura. You and your friend could cleanse each other. There's many other mediums of, well, getting corruption off yourself, but something like that, or even just bringing around a dancer. But anyways, I hope that helped you get into necromancy. Thank you for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.